It's Hitman Payne, and we transitioning over from Matt on the Mic. Now today, we're about to get into this Unison Beatmaker Starter Pack. Yes, so this is something that when I'm browsing on the internet, it's something that keeps popping up a lot. Like, I've been seeing it back, back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back. Um, I'm searching for drum kits, I'm searching for different sounds, especially right now. You know, it's the end of the year. There's a lot of sales that go on. And uh, this one popped up for a great price. $3, the Unison Beat Maker Starter Pack. Excuse me, that's a long name. So, I mean, we could call it UBSP, you know. But anyway, I downloaded it and I've uh, been waiting for a while. I actually installed it and uh, I was about to do another video. And um, while I was getting, you know, the material ready for the other video, what pops up? Then the Unison Beat Maker Starter Pack. I'm like, I already bought this. So, I was like, you know what? Let's do a review on it because something that's heavily advertised like this and a lot of people buy, and then you see the advertisements where people are like, hey, this is dope. Like, I wanna know. Like, is it really dope for myself? And so for other people that did buy it and didn't buy it like is it something you really can use are the melodies really dope um is it updated like how is everything in this you know unison period as a brand and everything like that so today we'll be going through that i don't know as far as like me playing everything how that's gonna work with youtube but uh we finna run through some of these as quick as possible and see exactly what we're working with so let's see I definitely could do something with that one right there. Uh, the first one is cool. I definitely could do something with that second one though. It's a nice bop right there. B minor, I could do that. That's something different. Oh, West Coast type vibe instantly. Yeah, now that one right there, I might actually make a beat with that one. That one's cool. Got, got a nice little bop to it. Once again, another Jack Harlow, Rush, Rush type of, you know, kind of. Nice high energy, that's something different right there. Yeah, I like I like that one. It's a nice big sound. Out of roughly about 35, don't quote me, but I believe that's about 35. Um, I definitely could use at least 15 to 16, maybe 17 loops. Like, um, I would definitely like use. I would break them down, do something with them, switch them up, or just like, I like the vibes instantly. Now, there'll probably be a couple more that I would revisit that I didn't like as much as first. Three bucks? For three bucks? Yeah. It's three dollars, man. I, you're going in already. So that's the audio loops. Then you got drum loops in here as well. So I I believe they go right with the the audio. It's like a whole beats. But um, let's play a few of these. So... I like the drum loops. I like drum loops and stuff like that. Like you can do stuff with these. These are also royalty free. I, I might have to go to the site to make sure, but I am pretty sure that these unison MIDI loops and everything is are royalty free, which means whoever puts this stuff out first, you get the you get the credit for it. But I am cool with the drum kits. I'm cool with the loops. I personally though, I do not like the bass with my drum loop. Like, give me the instruments, the drums, and then the bass. Like, give me that all that separate. You know what I'm saying? If you do vocals, instruments, vocals, drums, bass. Like, separate it. You know what I mean? Separate them. I don't like them together. So now, what's crazy about it, why I don't like it is, it's almost like you have to use these loops together with the actual MIDI files. Like, you can use them 
by itself is just the MIDI with the instrument. But with the drums and the bass together, you you have almost you, you almost have to use them. And then you can't switch the bass up. You know what I mean? It's like cool, well, let me like I wanna switch the bass up, do something totally different. And you can you can work at it and do something, you know, with it. Me personally, I don't like that though. I guess you could just take it and just rap on just the, you know, just that. Now there's the bass loops here. There's some more bass loops, I suppose. But I am not I'm not really feeling them bass loops like that. Drum loops that didn't have the bass with it, those were probably the ones that were left out, or maybe it's just some extra in there. Uh, we got guitar loops. So they got processed, and then they have dry loops. That's pretty dope. That's nice. Ooh. Got melody loops, drum loops, bass loops, guitar loops. Now we're going to rate this. You know, I like scales of uh, 10. 1 to 10, 10 being the best. Melody loops, I love it. Drum loops, I do not like it at all. The bass loops, it's okay. The guitar loops though, and I did not go through uh, dry, so it sounds good. I think that they need to be separated as far as the bass and the drums. I can't do just the drums. I got the drums with the bass in them already. Now the guitar loops, this is where I feel like it started out great with the with the melody loops, drums, bass, and boom. Here come in the guitar loops, brought it back with the guitar loops. The guitar, the guitar loops are great. I really like the, the melodies, the sound. I almost would use every one of the guitar loops. Almost every one of them. I'm gonna get this 8.5 for $3. You can't beat it. I'm gonna end up going and reviewing the other ones as well. $3 for this whole pack right here. Hit man pain.